You've probably heard of retargeting. You may be wondering what it is, and you've probably heard that it's beneficial for you when you are running Facebook and Instagram ads. In this video, what I'll show you is how to set up custom audiences, retargeting, lookalike audiences, and explain the benefits to you when doing this with Facebook ads. Okay, let's go. All right, so retargeting. To get to this audience dashboard, what we have to do is go to adsmanager.facebook.com. So just here, you'll be brought into the campaigns menu. So what you've got to do is go onto the left panel menu, click audiences. Here we are. So I'm in a test account. I'm just going to show you basically how to create a custom audience and why, and then how to create a lookalike audience. 1%, 2%, doesn't matter. You can choose the percentage. I'll show you why that matters and then we'll go from there. So a custom audience, instead of telling you what that is, why don't I show you? Create a custom audience. So you can use any of your sources to re-engage with anyone who has expressed interest in your business. So anyone who's visited your website, for instance, let's look at this. So we go to website, this is just a sample pixel with a sample business name and you can choose all website visitors or people who have visited a specific web page. So if we choose that, then you would put in the URL. So for instance, contains thank you if it's like a thank you page. Otherwise, you would just target everyone who's gone to your website and that could be in the past 90 days, it could be in the past, you know, six months. By default, it's set 30 days, and then you will just rename the audience like web one, for instance, or website visitors. Let's just name it that for ease. Description doesn't really matter. You could put anyone who's visited my website or anyone who's visited the thank you page, for instance. Then we create the audience. and it will tell you the audience size estimated by gathering that information and that data from your pixel that you've already set up and installed on your website. If you need help installing the pixel, then just send me a message, I'll create a video on that, or we can do it for you. We use Google Tag Manager, which is very easy to install things like the Meta Pixel, the Google Tag, retargeting tags, TikTok Pixel, we do it all for you and it's quite easy once you know how to do it. If you don't know how to do it, it's very difficult, but yeah, I can make a future video. Now, what we do from here to create our lookalike audience is create audience, lookalike audience, and then you would select a source. So we would go other sources. Let's look for our website visitors. There it is. And you could even search by country. So you could you could specify it like, I only want website visitors from Australia. So then anyone who's visited my website, who's in Australia, will be targeted. So now we've got our custom audience, website visitors, and now we want to create a lookalike audience. And what that is, it is an audience based off the characteristics which most resemble people who are in this audience. So they are, for instance, the 1% of people who most resemble the characteristics of people in this audience. You could put it up to the top 10% of people. And obviously, the more, the higher the percentage, the more people will fall into that audience. So, so it looks like it's prompting us to put a country. Let's just put Australia for example's sake. Now it will tell us estimated reach 225,000 people. If you want to target the top 5% of people, for instance, who most resemble the characteristics of these people, then we will be adding 1.13 million people to the audience. So usually you would set it between 1 and 3%. I've never heard of people setting it up to 10%. But 3% is good because 675,000 people is a vast audience anyway. So then you would create that audience and it would use Meta's AI 
to gather people who most resemble the characteristics of our website visitors over the past 30 or 90 days, whichever rollover period that we put. Now, let's create another custom audience. Now, we're brought back to this menu, and what we can do is choose from our sources or from meta sources. So, for instance, if you've got a customer database and you're like, I'd love to retarget those people on Facebook and Instagram, and say you've got like a thousand people in your customer database, you've gathered this over a couple of years, and you're like, oh, I'd love to get back in front of them and see if they need my service again. But you don't want a cold outreach to them, like call them or email them. We can get your ads to appear in front of them. So what you do is select customer list, so just logging into the Cavallaro Media Portfolio because we needed an ad account on the other business. Now, let's go back into custom audience and we'll create a customer list. So here it prompts us to upload a CSV file and provided that you've got a first name and last name and either an email address or a telephone number of those people in your customer database, It'd be good if you have the first, last name, and phone number, and email address, because what Facebook does is it matches those credentials, those personal details, with someone's Facebook profile. So if Facebook finds that this first name and last name match with someone else, it match with the person's profile on Facebook who has the same first name, last name, and uses the same phone number or email address to log in, Boom, that's a match. So it would then put your ads in front of that person. Now, yeah, this section is just about uploading the CSV, which you can export from any CRM, including the CRM that we provide you if you do your advertising through us. Let's go back and let's look at another way. So you can use the meta sources. For instance, anyone who has engaged with your Instagram account, anyone who has opened your lead form that we have run in the past. Anyone who's opened it, anyone who opened but didn't submit it, or anyone who opened and submitted it. So for instance, people who submitted our form in the past, we can retarget them. Maybe they submitted the form, but they didn't end up signing up, or they didn't end up taking our service at the time, and we're like, oh, if we run a promotion, we could get back in front of them and and close them this time. This is the target audience. So this is the custom audience we would create. So for this, 90 days is the maximum time limit. You can try and go above that, but it'll tell you that value has to be maximum 90. Now let's call this lead form submissions. And obviously we've got to select a lead form. So you could select all lead forms, for instance, anyone who has ever submitted any of these forms in the past 90 days, of course, or you could just select, for instance, this form. Once we create that, we can also create a lookalike audience. So that would be the top, for instance, 1% or 2 3% of people who most likely resemble the characteristics of those people in Meta's eyes who have already submitted a form for one of our ads. So then we go to Australia again, and we could then target the top 225.1 thousand people who most resemble the people who have already submitted an inquiry with us. So then we'll create that audience. That's a very good audience to target. So another thing, a good thing is you can use this look like audience, or you can use this lead form submission audience, especially, to exclude people that you don't want to target. So for instance, let me show you in campaign. Let's go for instance, back to our test campaign that I created in the last video. And we would go into the ad. And we go to the ad set level. You would see down here custom audiences so add exclusions and obviously I changed into the other account but this is how you would do it 
So include people, like include website visitors, and then you can also go turn that off. I always turn that off, Advantage Plus custom audience. Don't let that be turned back on because Meta turns that on automatically. And you've got to watch it because it'll turn on behind your back. So then you go exclude. So if we want to, for instance, exclude website visitors, the audience that we created before, we wanted to exclude lead form submissions. So you would just go exclude and here are your custom audiences. So you go website visitors, lead form submissions, anything like that. So then people who already know about your business or people who have already interacted or for instance, like converted or submitted the lead form and you don't want to get in front of them again, you just want to get in front of a new audience, you can use that custom audience to exclude people as well. And that's how you do it. Now back to audiences. So I'll show you another couple of things before I get off this video. Custom audience again. So Instagram account, the Facebook page, you can use them to get back in front of people who have already engaged with your page or your Instagram account and also video. So anyone who has watched any of your videos in the past, like for instance, year, people who have watched three seconds of your video or people who have watched 95% of your video. And you can also select the video. So for instance, if I want to target people who have watched 95%, of this video, then it'll go confirm anyone who has watched 95% of that video would be targeted in the past 365 days or in the past 30 days. And we'll just rename that audience and create it. Then you could also create a lookalike audience of that. You can get really creative with retargeting. That is retargeting. That's everything you need to know. That's the last video you'll ever have to watch on retargeting. And all it takes is a lot of a bit of testing, you know, it does take testing and really finding out which sort of retargeting is going to work for your specific industry, market, city, and it, it's different for everyone. It's not like, all right, let's retarget your website visitors and that's going to kill it because it may not. Maybe retargeting people who have submitted your lead form, maybe to get in front of them again, they might need your service. Maybe your service is like pest control and they get it done every six months but they've forgotten about you from six months ago. So it really depends. It all comes down to testing and have fun. Okay, let's go.